Alright everyone, hope you're keeping safe out there. Today I thought I'd take a quick look at the Transformers Generation Select Earthrise Hubcap. Let's get to it, shall we? I picked Hubcap here up at, I think, In Demand Toys? I'll be honest, I forgot who I ordered him from. I think he's in demand. He's still up for pre-order with them, so yeah, go check them out. Hubcap here is basically a yellow repaint of the Earthrise Cliff Jumper mold. It's a figure I've already reviewed and I actually really liked him. The only real difference is he now has a slightly, well, it's a new head. It's slightly bigger on the body, but it looks good. In fact, let's just have a quick look at my old review. Nah, I was on my A-game with that review, wasn't I? Do I recommend Hubcap? Yep. He's a great little yellow figure. I recommend you go get him. I okay, guess it, guys. Until next time, see ya. Ta-da. Yeah, but this time I have an actual good excuse. I've got a pack. Tomorrow, or today, whenever this actually goes up, I'm off to TF Nation 2020. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't got time to do a review properly. Well... Why? What's happened? No. Not seeing as my plans are well and truly buggered. I better get on to actually reviewing this guy, shouldn't I? Brilliant. 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 <sighs> Hope Cap here might actually be my spirit animal. Uh, let me explain that. He's an Autobot who's well known for always, you know. Offering to help. Praying to God no one actually takes him up on the offer because he wants to do nap all. And that speaks to me on a very, very basic, raw level. The original G1 hubcap was basically the same as the G1 version of Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. He was a penny racer figure. I mean, I did actually. No, oh, no, wait, no, oh, I did have him. I did have him. That's right. Yeah, I had him and Cliff Jumper because I lost the Bumblebee figure. So, huh. You won't find much modern stuff about Hubcap really, but he did actually appear in Sins of the Wreckers, which is a great part of the Wreckers series from IDW. I recommend reading it, but I don't quite like what they did with my boy here. Yeah. Just like Cliff Jumper, Hubcap is a great little figure. I say little because he is. He solves the deluxe, and I know some people are kind of annoyed about that fact because he's actually a lot smaller than other deluxe figures but he packs a lot into his small frame his small lovely chubby frame yes he is chubby he looks chubbier than cliff jump i think it's to do with the head he's i don't know it makes him look more like a baby he's a little little, little chubby hubcap chubcap that's yeah chubcap that's going to be the, the little the hashtag here yeah hashtag chubcap comparing him next to cliff jumper you can see he's basically the same mold just with a different paint scheme and a different head they both look good I own them both, I'm keeping them both, I recommend them both. They're both good. Having Hubcap really makes me wish they would just release Tap Out and Glyph. They're two of my favourite, like, non-main line Transformers characters. Especially after reading the Valentine's Day special IDW did. This year? Yes, this year, yeah. yeah. Something good came out this year, it was the Valentine's Day special. Just, please Hasbro, just, just do this mould as these two, please. Hubcap comes with the same weapons that came with Cliff Jumper. They were painted slightly differently. Cliff Jumpers were more of a metallic silver. These are done more on a muted grey. He looks good carrying them, but I don't know. I, I kind of get the feeling he's carrying them for someone else. He's offered to actually carry someone's weapons. Said, "Oh yeah, you just carry this for us." And he's like, "Crap, I'm carrying a gun now. What do I do? What do I do?" And it can do everything you know. Cliff Jumpers could do big bazooka, two hand cannons, the whole works. Also, like Cliff Jumper, his backpack kibble, which is. Yeah, again, another bone of contention with his transformation. It is parts forming, but I like it. Go over it. He can carry it like a shield, just like Cliff Jumper could, with this other little bit as a club. And putting in with Cliff Jumper, the two of them look like a great little two man security team, which, you know, is aces in my book. Comparing him with other recent Transformer releases, you can kind of see the difference in scale when it comes to deluxes. I mean, yes, he is next to Crosshairs, who is a larger, slightly larger deluxe class figure, but yeah, the size difference is definitely there. I mean, he's, he's not 
bad. He's just not as big as them, but he's the right scale for what he should be. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. And comparing him to the last figure I reviewed, which is, of course, the Generation Selects Exhaust. You know, they were good together. It, it's, you know, the two great figures back to back. I mean, I'm on a winning streak here. Hopefully the next one I get will be good. Yeah, please, Rotor Storm. Be good. Hubcap's vehicle mode is exactly the same as uh, Cliff Jumpers. No surprise there. I actually kind of like it a little bit more. The black windows look a bit better. The yellow paint pops a little bit more than the red did. But you know, it's the same thing at the end of the day. And sitting next to Cliff Jumper, you can see what I mean. They're both great vehicle modes. They're both the same vehicle mode. But the paint scheme helps them stand out from each other. I also like the fact that the Autobot symbol is in different places between the two. It just, yeah, again, helps differentiate between them. Comparing Cobcap to a few other Transformers in vehicle mode, you can see actually ones that he seemed a lot smaller than in robot mode, he kind of, I don't know, he makes better use of his mass, I suppose you could say, than they do. He doesn't look as small compared to them in vehicle mode. And, just like Clip Jumper could, uh, I think he's the, yeah, the two of them are the only ones who can fit in the back of the Prime's trailer so far. I actually didn't try, yeah, no, no, that's right, yeah, they're the only two that can fit in Optimus Prime's trailer. Everyone else is too big. And of course, Hubcap can also do that weird, silly, water ski, jet ski mode that Cliff Jumper could do. He's definitely never used it before, but no, it's the same old. It's a feature. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. So, what do I think at the end of the day? He's a great figure. If you can get him, pick him up. I was actually looking forward to him for ages. I really like him. He's probably been one of my favourite figures in a while, and I've had a lot of good ones recently. Well, that's it, folks. As always... Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you next time. Ta-da!